What up, boss? It's your man MBR bringing you our ninth episode today of our top five plays. Want your boss ass clip featured? Then leave me your username and replay name below. Don't forget to tune into my stream this Friday for the grand finale of the EU and NA 2v2 Play Tourney Tournament with the eight teams battling out for $250. Last week we saw Pearl nomin everyone up with Jaws and ducking and diving to turn this 1v3 around. It was a great clip to watch, we'll see if you bosses can top it this week, so jumping into our first clip today at number 5. We have Oldor, the Keeper of Time, battling out with Rukan. With the time already out of sand, the two champions are battling out with the arena closing within. As Oldor backs off from his opponent, he's able to pick up both energy orbs and block the incoming Shadow Bolt with Timebender. Not allowing this to slow him down, Khan lands a nice claw and silence combo. Dropping to just 10 health, he avoids the last auto with time travel as Khan sets his focus on the middle orb. Easily picking up with his ultimate, landing another big claw onto Oldor, but he's able to dash out of the incoming danger and pick up the health orbs on the top side. Dropping to just 5 health, he lands a massive Petra high, allowing him to fall back and heal himself up. Giving him a chance to pick up both health orbs and avoid the incoming claw, he's able to dash through his bow, land some big autos, and finish Rukana off with his quicksand hourglass. Taking our fourth spot today is Sirius, in a 1v2 versus Shifu and Ashgar, picking up his ultimate, he unleashes a faithful astral beam on both targets. Now stuck in the bottom corner, he's able to counter the incoming fireball and drop down on Shifu, landing a massive weaken on his target and two more autos to take this battle to a 1v1. Teleporting back in the center, he's able to pick up both health orbs and once again counter the incoming fireball, only to be saved from the incoming fire strike by Ashgar. With not much time left and mid orb up, Sirius looks to finish off his foe as he goes aggressive. As the little critter dashes away, he once again procs Sunrise, allowing Sirius to drop behind him and land a big weaken. Each an astral beam, Ashka has no time to get up as Infernal Scorch, which moves us on to our third flip today. Which is going to see the Molten Fury that is Ashgar battling out with Jade and Pearl. Unleashing the deadly beast that is Jaws, our friendly critter knocks back with Molten Fist and avoids getting a chunk taken out of him. Landing a nice Infernal Scorch on both targets and picking up the energy orbs on the bottom side of the map. Not holding back, he lands some big fireballs on his foes and blocks the incoming orbs with his firewall. With time up, the arena starts closing in as we enter sudden death. Ashgar looks to get aggressive on Pearl, but a nice silence has him retreating away as Jade easily secures the middle orb for the red team. Pearl's able to duck and dive out the incoming Firestorm, but doesn't stop Ascar landing a few autos to fill up his energy bar to unleash a blistering Infernal Scorch, leaving Jade in ashes. Left in a 1v1 with Pearl, he looks to finish off things, but she's able to dive out the incoming Flame Strike and land a nice silence, giving her time to heal up and fill up her energy bar. Retreating to the top side of the arena, she's able to secure both health orbs, also picking up her ultimate thanks to the energy Jade left behind which allows her to summon her not-so-friendly pet Jaws, this time biting a chunk out of the Ascar and spitting him out of the safe zone. Dashing back into the arena, Pearl lands another silence, this time dropping to just 5 health, but he's able to build a firewall to keep him alive for the time being. Her bubble barriers make no real effect as he's able to move around them, landing some nice fireballs and knocking her out of the arena with a wild time molten fist. Moving on to our second place clip today, we have the one and only Ninja Warrior Shifu about to be left in a 1v3 as he sets his focus on the pesky Paloma. Landing some nice blows, he's able to retreat with a stealth only for that gap to be closed with a nice javelin toss. Pulling back to the middle of the arena to help his teammate out, somehow Rook charges straight through him, crushing his friendly pearl in the process, giving Shifu time to collect the full ultimate on the bottom of the arena. Dropping Varus under 30% health with Whirlwind, he picks up another ultimate in the process, countering Rook's incoming auto and armor break with a nice kanju, but does lose mid in the process, but thanks to this, both foes are stood on top of each other, which allows him to cut them in half with a nice ultimate. Which moves us on to the big number one, featuring the mysterious Paloma, who we haven't seen for a while. We start the clip off with her eliminating Jade from the arena with a few oils, but losing a chunk of her health thanks to her ultimate. With Rook on her tail, she panics him away, only for him to charge back at her, but entering the stealth round, she avoids the charge, but it ends up crushing her friendly Freya. But quickly even things back as she finishes off Sirius with Spirit Guide after he got caught earlier in an ancestral spirit. Under 40% health compared to the healthy Rook, Paloma's got her work cut out here as she loses out on middle orb. Once again, shoving the mighty Chieftain away with panic, but in the process he picks up both health orbs, landing a nice boulder toss, lining her up for his charge and ultimate combo, dropping her to just 14 health, but she's able to avoid the next two strikes as she enters the spirit round. Allowing Paloma to escape to the bottom of the arena, only to be crushed once again by Rook's charge, pushing him away with panic, leaving her under just 8 health. Giving her the opportunity to pick up mid orb for the first time this round as we enter sudden death. This time Rook misses his charge and then gets caught in Ancestral Spirit as he re-enters the Sudden Death Arena. Not too happy about this, he enters the Berserk Rage, but as he finally gets to Paloma, you guess that he had panicked away, but he's still looking pretty healthy compared to his foe. 
This did give her time to score both Halfors, but only make Rook more mad as he enters a berserk rage once again. But using the Spirit Realm to her advantage, she avoids most autos, but with not much room left to play, and he lands a big armor break and strikes her out of the arena with smack. Somehow still standing, she's able to make it back into the safe zone and also pick up mid-orb in the process, allowing her to release Ancestral Spirit for the third time this round, catching the Rook left, right and center, and Presley turn this around against the Rook who threw everything at her. Bonus clip today we'll see Bako, ulting Bako, ulting Bako with the best Bako winning. GG. Again, don't forget to leave your username and clip name below, bosses. Also, this Friday, I'm going to be casting the grand finale of the Play Tourney 2v2 tournament with EU at 7pm and NA at midnight. There's $250 up for grabs for both regions. It should be a lot of fun. Twitch TV forward slash Mr. Big Russ. I'll see you there. Peace. Mid orb is up. He's actually going to pick this up for himself. He does have his charged up space bars, so with that, he will be able to do twice as he lands a nice Dragon Slayer onto Shifu. Strange the wall then. Asgard does come in fun with his Infernal Scorch. He does actually get picked up by the Bear Trap. Reign of Arrows is actually going to.